Okay, so I'm talking to Sardan Golubovic. Okay, <laughs> yes, director of Father, yeah. uh, a fantastic movie from Serbia. Thank you. Um, you uh, you're welcome. So, tell me why my audience in Canada might be interested in seeing your movie, Father. Uh, I think that uh, the f- uh, Father is very based on a st- it's based on a true story mm. and uh, and a true character, true guy who walked from, from his village to Belgrade as an act, act of protest. And it's very much um, focused on the Serbian society and the mm. problems of Serbian society. But I think that problems of ordinary men everywhere in the world are similar. Mm-hmm. Not the same, but similar. Mm. And I think that in today's world of uh, neoliberal capitalism, that mm-hmm. if you lose your job, you are losing dignity and then you're losing everything. So I think that in Serbia it's more, how to say, maybe more tough than in some other mm-hmm. countries. But I think that um, subjects and stories about ordinary men is something what is now very important and uh, it's like Parasite, Parasite mm. and Joker is also that yeah. kind of story. And I think that that's uh, the, s- the problem of contemporary time, I think. Mm. I was always trying with all my films to do something that is very, very based on, on, on life in my country and society. Yeah. But on the other hand, to, to make something universal, what people can understand everywhere. Okay, wow. Okay, so um, how do you describe making movies in Serbia? Uh, it's an adventure. <laughs> okay, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, n- uh, today we have a Serbian film center, and then it works okay. well, much better than than uh, before. Uh, but the problem is that the amount of, of money which uh, we are getting from uh, film fund is not enough. So we are having co-productions with yeah with neighbor countries and some other countries. But today it's much better than it was. But uh, it's an adventure. Oh, okay, but so like everywhere in the world, I think it's never easy no. to finance the film. Would it, is it like more of an uphill battle? Do you think? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me about your cinematographer because some of the shots in this movie are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's um, my closest friend, and we oh. work together from the faculty, and it's twenty-five, more than twenty-five years. And uh, the, the thing is that we work together from the beginning, mm. from the idea, from the synopsis, before the screening, before oh. the script, we start to talk how that film will look like. Mm. And uh, I remember that for this film, uh, we even did not have a script, first draft, and we decided to shoot on Super 16. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's very important because He's uh, the most important man for me. Sure. Uh, in the whole process, and uh, we discuss about the movie from the beginning. So, all right. I, I, I thought there were great landscape shots in yeah. this movie, and it he's really an amazing shows. cinematographer. Yeah. Very experienced. Mm-hmm. He did many commercials, many music videos. Oh, okay. Uh, he did films only mm-hmm. with me and two more. Okay. And uh, he's really trying to, to be deeply involved in the movie when he, when he wants to do it. He's not accepting everything mm-hmm. and he's really choosing what, what he's doing. Okay. Um, so tell me about uh, your first meetings with, the, with your lead actor and, and the discussions you had to yeah. get this character right. Uh, yeah, uh, we had a big casting, mm-hmm. and uh, at the end I chose him, and I, when I saw him on casting, I was sure that's it. Right away? Yeah, right away. Oh, uh, wow. I, was only, I told him only one thing, that he has to lose 15 to 20 kilos. Okay. And he said, okay, cool. Sure. And uh, <laughs> what is not, uh, it's, it's not happening very often in, in, in Serbia and in our countries, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, American style, <laughs> but uh, it's very rare. It's very rare. But he was very disciplined, and he worked a lot. Uh, and uh, we talked. The main the main issue was uh, to make this uh, 
character uh, uh, believable yeah. and true. And it was not easy because both of us, we are not from that society. Uh-huh. And uh, we did never had connection with that poverty. So it, okay. it was not easy for us to to jump in the in the shoes of this character. But we worked a lot for three months every day, five, six, six hours. We talked about the script, we talked about the character. And at the end we did, did something that is interesting. I read in diaries of Andrei Tarkovsky that oh. for every film he was uh, writing something what he called emotional map. In the script, you see what the character is doing, but for him was always more important what character is feeling in that moment while he is doing something. So That's that heavy. was that, uh. that we did very precisely, mm. and it was long, long, long process and very interesting for me. Well, he's very authentic, and he's a very interesting actor to look at. What was his act- acting background like? Uh, he's from Croatia. Okay, actor from Croatia. Uh, he's one of the most uh, popular and talented and best actors oh. in ex Yugoslavia, and he has also also international career. He played in Fargo. Really? Yeah, that's incredible. In first season. That's amazing. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. So, what lessons from this film that you learned will you be teaching in your in your studies? I know you're a teacher too. Yeah. So what, what are some of the lessons, some of the key takeaways that you will uh, now tell your students of, about yeah. from this film? Uh, first, uh, the, the most important thing for me was uh, one sentence of Abbas Kiristami when mm-hmm. they asked him, asked him uh, what is for him good film. Uh, he said, for me good film is the film whom I believe. And uh, the truth is the most important key word for uh, for filmmaking, that's what I wanted to make in this film, and also simplicity. Mm-hmm. Uh, for me, less is always more. In the film language, in the uh, framing, in the, in the uh, actors' play, in in everything. That's what I wanted to make here, and uh, it's different than in my previous films. Uh, and what I would say to my students to be focused on their characters. And to be completely with them, to be in their head, so and not no to be and not to be more, more clever than yeah. your character. You have to uh-huh. follow him, and not to be cynical. To be more clever than him, you have uh-huh. to respect him, mm-hmm. you respect them, mm-hmm. and to uh, not to uh, try to be clever, more clever than the characters. That's for me very important. Well, I think you know, a lot of movies could use that uh, that that focus. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's very interesting. Um, how did you get into filmmaking? You said you've been yeah. in it for about 25 years? Yeah. How did you uh, start? My father was a filmmaker, okay. a film director. So from the beginning, from my early age, I, was, uh, I knew that I want to be a filmmaker. <laughs> and yeah, I made my first film when I was five. Oh my God. On Super 8. And uh, till the moment, till the... In the age of age of eighteen, I made I think more than twenty short films. Whew. So I was always focused on film. I wow. lived that, you know. My father was a film director. Uh, his best friends were actors, and I was surrounded by that world. And from the beginning, fascinated by that world. When I started to work, my when I, when I started my career. Uh, I saw also uh, not only good side but also the bad side. Mm-hmm. Bad side of that work. Well, job. what kind of films did he make? Uh, he he made uh, he was making uh, war movies. Okay. Uh, because uh, when the Second World War started, he was six, and uh, he escaped from Sarajevo when he was born. Where he was born, and uh, when he was nine, he lost his father. Oh. So uh, all his subjects were connected with the with the war, mm. and uh, he was uh, very frightened by new war which happened at the end of his life he died in 1994 oh. and he was really sad and desperate because um, the thing he was frightened the most happened again and um, so he's born into war that he yeah, died yeah, during the war yeah. so that's and cool, in huh? this film uh, yeah. that's why this film is called uh, father mm-hmm. because oh. it's dedication it's dedicated to my father and the last scene of 
my film mm. is uh, uh, some kind of homage to, to short films of my father. That's very touching. And w what are some other films that you watched growing up that really made you want to be a part of this world? Uh, for me, uh, Kishlovsky was very important. I was very much influenced by Krzysztof Kishlovsky. Uh, also Bresson. Oh, yeah. There's a big uh, influence of Bresson also in this film. Mm -hmm. And very much by Yugoslav Black Wave. Dusan Makvev, Živojim Pavlović, Aleksandar Petrović. That's something, uh, uh, some brave films uh, who are talking much about society mm -hmm. and who are brave to fight with, uh, with the political and social subjects. And that's amazing films from end of 60s, beginning of 70s. So it was like a new wave, part of the a Yugoslavian new wave? Yeah, it, it was called Black Wave. It was called Black Wave. Black Wave. Oh, I gotta look into that. I don't know anything about Dushan that. Dusan Makavev is the most famous director from, from that, that I'll, time. I'll definitely look into that. Yeah. Um, and who are some contemporary filmmakers that you admire? You mentioned maybe Bon Joon Ho. Mm -hmm. yeah. are, th are there others uh, that are working currently that you uh, that whose work you admire? Yeah, I, I like very much. Um, I like very much Andriy Zvegintsev. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I like very much um, Kantemir Balagov from the youngest generation. I, yeah, I interviewed him. Yeah. Yeah. I like him very much, and I like very much uh, Spanish-French director Olivier Laxe. Olivier Laxe, La Lache. Okay. Uh, the fire will come. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's from new guys, new directors, whom I like very much. Yeah, Ketemir is, a, is a good, he's very young. He's very young and he's extremely talented. Yeah, very serious some, young man. some, how to say, some dry energy and mm -hmm. something what I really like because uh, he's having uh, all his background on his back and it's yeah. always visible in both of his films. Yeah, and he says he wants to do something more modern for yeah. the next one so that'll be very interesting I look forward to uh, following his career more because yeah. Beanpole is fantastic do you enjoy uh, the Berlinale in other film festivals? I like Berlinale very much yeah uh, first I, 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 I love Berlin mm. and I'm very much connected with Berlin uh, I, I like Berlinale it's my third film here I yeah two films in Forum and in Pernama so it's uh, I love Berlin Berlin loves me so <laughs> what's the complaint about? it's real love <laughs> All right. So, uh, what is what is your message with Father? Is it is it a message movie, or you said it's really about character and going on an emotional journey? But is there like a meta message that, that you would like to uh, say with this film? Not much. Mm -hmm. I wanted to provoke. I always like much more to ask questions than to mm -hmm. send messages. Like John Ford said, if I want to send a message, I would like I would like a letter. And I want you would what sorry a uh, write a letter write a letter okay okay <laughs> uh, I like to provoke I want to I wanted to uh, provoke with this film to audience to think about uh, dignity to think about how ordinary men can fight for his dignity and for his rights. Do you think neoliberalism in Europe will uh, is it is it going away now? Is something else going to replace it? Who knows? Who knows? Mm -hmm. I think that in my country, uh, after all wars and uh, socialism, capitalism came too late. Uh, but mm -hmm. capitalism came too late in the worst possible, uh, as the worst possible m uh, model, you know, full of corruption and uh, full of. Uh, it's in Serbia we have wild capitalism. <laughs> yeah, it's tycoons and you know that kind of guys. Interesting, interesting. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you I, I really th thoroughly enjoyed your film. Uh, and what do you have planned for the future? Uh, I would like to 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 make uh, next film faster than 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 this one. Sure. And I, I I would like to to continue to be connected with social subjects and to make. I would like to make small film, uh, and I would like to make more, um, how to say, more s simple film, mm -hmm. uh, with less dialogue, hmm. and with... More cinematic? More, more cinematic.
Well, stay tuned. Yeah.